Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you're a new viewer, definitely go to our channel, watch all the videos and only if you're liking it, you can hit the subscribe button. So in this particular video, we are going to learn a strategy or I would say an idea how to enter, where to enter with the help of an indicator of stochastic momentum indicator, index indicator. So this is only for educational purpose guys, not for uh, buying or selling recommendations. So always pay per trade. And if you like this type of video, hit that like and support me. So let's start off. All right, guys. So before we discuss about the method or the idea or strategy, or a small thing which I would ask you to guys to you know think about or remember this is very important because you learn things either by experience. So if you have not learned it, we need to learn by maturity. So if we learn more, our maturity increases. So if you're not experienced this through um, practice, then let's understand and gain that maturity in terms of strategy or idea. So remember these points. Strategy is an idea through which we can take advantage only okay so we are trying to take advantage of the situation so remember strategy is not like a bible or something it is a you know temporary situation where you can take an advantage of the situation that's it so remember in that way and then strategy fades based on the change in the trend in the market so if the trend in the market keeps changing the strategy fades away okay the whatever strategy we planned that will try to fade because the trend totally change because we found out the accuracy of the strategy based on certain trend if the trend change like this somewhere like this totally different then the uh, strategy will fade so remember this always later when the trend comes back to the same situation the strategy can become more better so remember that also finally news or events in the economy or market will fail the indicator so we learn all these technical indicators right in technical analysis all these indicators whatever we use will fail this technical analysis will fail basically if there is some news suddenly a bad news comes stock will fall uh, bad news come whole market may go up good news market may go up right so that time whatever swing you are seeing will break up and it, it can go like this also instead of coming down all right so just remember that just for your maturity sake i'm telling if you're an experienced trader you would have already know this so now let's go to the chart so for example let's take any stock for this particular method what you need to do is just uh, take stock based on market direction i know today if you see the market uh, it was going very good uh, sorry yeah, the market was going up very good but what happened now there is some news going on in the market today all right so because of that particular news i think um, all our leaders are talking about the lockdown thing uh, should we extend and all that be considering all the cases all the virus cases so therefore market is reflecting that downfall i mean if you go to nifty i'll show you so you see suddenly market fell and almost all stocks are falling that's one example how indicators can fail during this period just remember this okay but in a regular situation we can take an advantage when there is no news or something coming out in the market in the situation so now um, let's say i'm let's say any stock let's for example now let's say the market was green in the morning so we will try to take stocks which are in the green remember go towards market if market is plus we will take plus stocks good stocks okay always you need to take top stocks and good stocks not some random stocks and apply indicators whenever you apply indicators you need to apply on a trending stocks okay apply on a trending stock and based on market direction if market was falling go to top falling stocks few four five stocks whichever you think is better pick based on your method so stock selection i will leave it to you guys but remember go towards market direction and then take top stocks not some random stock which is not moving so therefore now for example uh, i will just add that indicator stochastic uh, i want a stochastic momentum index not stochastics so over here this is a default settings in Zerota. so if you want to apply this in your uh, trading account see this is the settings 40 and 40 okay for overbought and oversold is 40 and negative 40 so i'm applying this particular one so now always remember see uh, your rsi is also there see rsi is in overbought here it is looking shadow right but look at this it has already come down but rsi has not yet come down so there is a difference between definitely a difference between the rsi movement and the stochastic movement so are just that's the reason i just opened this i wanted to show you you see it has come down here lower levels but rsi has not yet reached the lower levels right oversold zone so there is a difference between stochastic and uh, rsi I don't think it is the same so now i will remove it i just wanted to show the difference okay so uh, now what you will do so very simple it's a very simple and uh, you know 
I'll tell you in very simple. Don't get confused. If you want to know how it is calculated, what is the formula and all, you can Google it out. Uh, don't need to worry so much because all the summary is here only. So just concentrate on the indicator. So this is again a technical indicator on which we can take advantage of entry. Okay. So selecting a stock is different. Entry of a stock. So entry is also very important. Lot of people are taking good stocks, but entry is going wrong. So we need to take advantage. So now I always take advantage. For example, today was market is green and stocks are going up. So now whenever it crosses above the shadow, that is this 40 line. Okay, this is 40, negative 40. This is plus 40. So it crosses above plus 40 line. I take my position somewhere at this particular area around 320. Now let's say as a beginner, you're scalping 0.3% advantage. So 0.3% is how much? 30 paisa, 30 paisa, 30 paisa, around 90, 96 paisa. So let's say one rupee is our target. So 321. So now let's say I entered somewhere here, 320 point this one. So 321 point somewhere here, my target is done, which is a big profit. So people who don't understand 0.3% into leverage, uh, I think it will take some time, but it's a big profit actually. So now, if you are a trader who is going for higher profit, it's up to you. It's up to your own requirement and goals and greediness. So I'm just giving an example of minimum 0.3%. So you took an advantage of 0.3%, you are done. Now normally traders do selling and also I normally go to buy's direction normally. But I'm just telling you people who do selling. So for example, at this particular point, you see it is falling down. So people try to sell over here. But what I would suggest is if a stock is going up, I mean, if the stock is positive, don't try to sell them okay just go with uh, buying only but if you want to do selling then go to negative stocks okay negative stocks pick negative stocks but ensure your market is negative stock is negative market is positive means take positive stocks top stocks in the chart or whichever top stocks you find in whichever platform you want to search or whichever method you're following take then take entry now this is my entry point here is my buy here my risk is low right you learned risk also right in our previous video if you have not learned go and see that previous two three videos so risk is low here i'm taking a buy position here 0.3 percent is one rupees target i am done over here who don't know to calculate 0 0.3 0 0.3 into the stock price you hit you will get the answer so one rupee i am done over here so let it be any stock now i can take decision also now for example sipla see now sipla morning when i saw over here sipla was already in the top now when it is already in the top i can't do buying here right i should do buying in the down level so i have to wait sipla till where here right so it's already crossed my 12 o'clock what i would suggest is always trade before 12 o'clock but now again now market news has come things are going in the sideways or market fell you saw how market fell so stock is going sideways so here I don't trust them now for but morning if I would have got some signal for buy all right because it's already in the top I'm not looking into it if it was in the lower level I would have taken now next example what I will show you is uh, Infratel now Infratel is a good example now see morning Infratel you see I put a five minutes chart and I have put a Haikanashi okay so yesterday I made a video on Haikanashi so if you have not watched that watch this I have applied Haikanashi candlestick so over here see as soon as I open the chart market was in the green but this uh, infratel also was in the green okay it's in the top green so positive stock and market is positive so buy direction so but it is in the top zone over uh, bot zone right so now slowly it came down so now i am getting ready okay in this position as soon as it crossed over i took a position in this area now let's say this area is around 162.76 0.3 percent is 16 paisa, 45, 50 paisa. Imagine 50 paisa. So somewhere around 163 point here only your target is done. Okay, this is an example of 0.3 percent. All right, whatever is your percentage, that is up to you. But I'm just giving example of 0.3 percentage for a beginners. So now 0.3 percent we are targeting. We are done over here. Again, you got a sell option here, but I will not sell because this market is going upside. Positive stock market is positive. During this period, I will not try to sell yes it's not that you can't hit 0.3 percent yes you may hit the 0.3 percent but bad luck what if it reverse all right so let's always go with the trend so trend is going up now if the trend was going down and the stock is also going down then i will concentrate on these areas sell area so always sell when it breaks this 40 line and always buy if when it breaks this positive line okay so now remember this is a positive stock so i will always wait for my buy opportunity buy 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 where did i get my buy my buy was here all right here i should not buy because it is already in the top so that's the reason normally beginners will blindly take a position oh it's a top stock i will start buying here only what if it doesn't go up so i waited for my opportunity here and then took my i entered only here not over these areas i entered here and you see the advantage this is how you can take a lot of spikes if market supports yes it will be 
major spikes you'll get but like how market little bit fell so the advantage is comparatively less today but on a normal situation if you in a normal situation if you see on any stock let's say see now gale also uh, gale also has more two percent above but you see morning if you see gale it is going up but it is already in this zone it, i will not try to buy here right i know the stock is positive and market is positive i will not buy here i have to wait and it has reached the down level so now i cannot buy this particular stock same way see this everything is positive now this is going positive this also market is going positive let's take an example of market going negative see the stock going negative see this this sipla is going down that particular day you can see this particular day right so this is a four first of april i guess right so you see overall it is coming down so it would have been negative negative stock for the day so i will not try to do buy on that particular day i will do only sell over here you see this this point okay so i am selling this particular stock over here when it broke this level so from here i am hitting 0.3% which is done within two candles all right so this is how you can take advantage try to take that advantage by morning itself later on what happens see now here the it has given a signal here i know the market is falling because of news and all that but you see here the volume also may reduce during the day but morning you see every day before 12 o'clock you see the the movements may be like almost up or almost down okay any one direction most of the time so during that time if you use this particular indicator based on the market direction if market is falling stock is falling you go sell if market is going up you go buy okay it's a very uh, simple indicator if you try to apply it so use this in your entry okay see so stock selection you will do how to pick a stock so many method is there pick a stock based on market direction and all that and take your entry based on that with this particular indicator okay this is the only way and depends on this your target is up to you based on your goals in life and your stop loss is based on your goals in life because few people take stop loss in percentage few people take stop loss in terms of uh, resistance and support line based on that they take stop loss so based on your this one take your stop loss but what i would suggest is always when you see a video like this do a paper trading okay don't just blindly put your money this is how you can avoid those wrong trades by not taking a buy position in some wrong areas so this is how we can avoid all those situations so just to make you better and mature trader i'm just sharing with this this only for educational purpose only do not consider this for buying and selling i will not recommend buying or selling or nor i give any calls on buying and selling so this is only to educate keep learning let's keep learning lot of methods how traders trade and how experienced traders trade i'll keep sharing you everything so if you like such video hit that like and support me and also share this video see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye